Hey, and welcome back to High School Physics Explained. And this is just a really quick demonstration of the photoelectric effect. It's something you can do in the classroom yourself with a very simple setup where we have some light, some ultraviolet light, and an electroscope. And I'm going to get Tom to explain it from Kickstart. Tom, do you want to explain how we show the photoelectric effect with this setup? Yeah, sure. So this electroscope, as you can see, has two leaves of aluminium foil and they're uncharged. What we'll do is we'll charge them up with a bit of uh, static electricity and then discharge them with a few things to show the photoelectric effect. On top here I've got a zinc plate. Uh, now it's a bit dirty because that's got a lot of zinc oxide in it and that's going to reduce the work function. So what I need to do is clean that a little bit. So I'm just going to do that now because it's really important to get the right results mm -hmm. and to make them really clear. So I've just got some brass. So the way that you clean this is you just basically clean it. I didn't tell you I was going to do this, did wipe I? Wipe on, wipe off sort wipe of thing. On, wipe on, wipe off. Very good. <laughs> okay, so uh, you just got to clean it until uh, it goes black. Right, there you go. Uh, and then we have to clean it again until the tissue goes black again. Nice and clean on there. There you go. Done. Nice and clean. Now we're going to see really good photoelectric effects. Fantastic. So the way that we're going to do this is going to charge it up with some static electricity. I don't have any on hand, so I have to create some. I've got a lot of electrons in this latex glove, so I'm going to uh, extract the electrons from the latex glove by heating them onto the perspex. I'll do that. Some call it work, some call it anger management. <laughs> do you think that's enough? Oh, that's pretty good. I think Tom's had his coffee this morning. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, you can see here that the leaves are separated, which means there's electrons in there. It's all charged up. And we're going to use some light to move the electrons, photoelectric effect, using photons to move the electrons. Fantastic. But before I do that, I want to give you an analogy so that we can kind of figure out what's going to happen. Yep. Right? So, Paul, imagine you're at the, at the beach. You're on a surfboard. You're waiting for uh, a wave to come through. And you're a very good surfer, by the way. Oh, very good. So you're waiting for a wave. And what approaches is a, a one centimeter wave, right? Are you gonna surf that wave? No, I don't think so. No, right, okay. What do you have to do to, uh, to be able to surf that wave? Uh, I need a wave that's probably bigger than me. A lot bigger, you need yeah. a, a wave that's bigger, so you increase the energy or the intensity of that wave. Correct. Right, okay, so we'll do that. So let's have a look at this. What I'm gonna do is create a light wave, right, on there, and as you can see, I'm not going anywhere. But as you said, if we make a, light, a wave that's uh, got more intensity, we should get you surfing or the electrons discharging in this case. Mm -hmm. Right, so if I can get you to turn that on, the button's just under there. And bring that closer as well. And what we see is... No effect at all. Nothing. Greater intensity, no effect. No effect, all right. So my analogy is wrong. And we need to fix that. All right, so what I'll do now is I might try a different analogy to see if we can kind of get around that. Right, so same surfboard, mm -hmm. same pool, same beach, same everything, but instead of having a one centimetre wave, what I've got is a 100 one centimetre waves, one after the other. What have I increased there? The frequency. I've increased the frequency. Are you going to surf those waves? Uh, I don't know, maybe. You're a good surfer, but I don't think you're that good. No, that's true. No, okay, so you're not going to surf the high frequency waves. No. All right, so this is a... UV light, and we're going to turn that on, and we'll see. They went down. They went down. Nice, huh? Mm. So my analogy is wrong on both ways, on mm. both accounts. We said that the, you would be able to surf with a high intensity, and we didn't see that happening with the plates. And we said you wouldn't be able to surf with high frequency, but the electrons discharge with a high frequency. Yeah. And kind of what I think about that is that it's saying that light is not a wave, yep. it has to be a particle. This necessarily has to work as a particle. It, you can't do that. I can't send a sound wave to this thing to make it discharge. I can't make a water wave make that discharge. It has to be a particle. Which is a bit frustrating because we talk about the wavelength of light. Yes. But in this case, it's a particle. Fascinating. And as you can see, a really clear simple demonstration you can do in the classroom, whether you're a teacher or a student. So thanks, Tom. This has been a really great demonstration of the photoelectric effect and with a great analogy to boot. I'm Paul. I'm Tom. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember, like, 
share and subscribe. And by the way, drop a comment down below if the video particularly has been useful. And finally, consider supporting me via Patreon. The idea is to develop resources and equipment to continue to teach physics at a high school level. I'm Paul from High School Physics Explained. Bye for now.